and oh, okay i love women <laughs> um just simple as that i think the bond between women is something so powerful and magical and i think all women deserve to know that that power is inside of them my name is daphne welsh my business is welsh and womb i am a doula a midwife's assistant and I am in a training program to be a certified fertility awareness educator. So by the end of my two year program, I will be a certified fertility awareness educator and I will be able to teach women how to get off birth control and track their cycles naturally to either avoid or achieve pregnancy. I got my first period when I was 13 and I was so excited to get it. I, all my friends had already got their periods. I was feeling a little bit jealous. I was so excited. From my mom, I was met with excitement about it. And from the rest of the world, it was kind of like an inconvenience and like something I have to suffer through. And I remember feeling really confused about why no one else was as excited as I was. And I, I don't know what that stems from. I think it's a long line of women feeling insecure and sad about bleeding. And honestly, there's no reason to because your blood is your life source. It's the most magical part about you. It literally means that you can create and give life. And I don't think you should ever feel ashamed of that. Women's cycles work on about a 26 to 36 day period. So a lot of times we're told that our cycles are supposed to be 28 days with ovulation happening on day 14. And that's not always the case because all women's cycles are different. Each cycle is specifically designed for your body. Hearing that our cycles are supposed to be this amount of time will often lead to unwanted stress surrounding our cycles. So a healthy cycle, it could be a variation of days. My personal cycles are typically about 29 to 32 days long with ovulation happening around day 15. And it's not always the same because ovulation isn't the same every month. The way our cycles work is the first day of our cycle is our bleed. So day one of our bleed. And that typically lasts between three to seven days, sometimes more, sometimes less, it just depends. Following our bleed time, we'll move into our pre-ovulation time or our follicular phase. And that typically lasts for about 10 to 12 days, it really depends. And during that time, we'll feel a surge in energy, we'll start to feel a little bit happier, more friendly, and then we'll move into our ovulation. And ovulation is only about 24 to 48 hours long. So we'll start getting a lot more energy, we'll ovulate, and then following that ovulation, we'll move into our premenstruation phase which is about another 10 to 12 days. Once again, it'll vary. And in that premenstruation phase, we'll start to feel a decline in energy and we'll start to want to slow down and kind of relax and honestly be left alone. And that's where a lot of women will experience PMS. Um, and then following the premenstrual phase, we'll move back into our menstruation. So the cycle will start over on day one of our bleed. Do I believe in period sinking? Yes, I do. Um, I personally have experienced it, and I know a lot of other women who have. There's a lot of times there's a dominant woman in the group of women, and a lot of people will latch onto her cycle and start to bleed matching her cycle. Um, I am actually not the dominant in any of my friendships. A lot of the time I will end up sinking to whoever I'm hanging out with or whoever I'm spending time with. Um, and not only that, but, you know, we have lots of women all the time saying that they're syncing with their roommates or their friends or any woman that they're starting to spend a little more time with. But way back in the day, like during biblical times, women would actually bleed with the moon. So they would go into what they called the red tent. All the women of whichever tribe they were in, they would go into this red tent and they would all bleed, typically with the new moon. Once the new moon started, their bleed would start. And during that time, they would all join each other in the red tent and they would rest, they would eat, they would relax. And honestly, I think women should still be doing that. We would all be bleeding 
at the same time with the moon. And so each month it takes a woman at least 26 days to go through her full rise and fall. Whereas with men, they go through a 24 hour cycle, they're solar. So men will wake up and they'll have a, a lot of energy and throughout the day their energy will start to dwindle, they'll go to bed and they'll wake up and start all over again. Women experience that a lot slower, which is why women need to rest with their bleed is because we're not experiencing that same hormone shift as quickly as men are. During my bleed time, I really, I take the time to rest and I know not everyone has that opportunity to take all seven days to rest, but your body will thank you if you can even take an hour during your bleed week to rest and recoup and the rest of your cycle would be followed by a lot more joy and ease. And when you answer the questions and the call that your body is trying to get you to listen to, when you slow down and listen to your body, you'll stop experiencing PMS and acne and all those horrible things that come with your period. Those are all a call from your body asking you to slow down. I actually personally don't use mainstream feminine products. I don't use tampons. I don't use store-bought pads. I actually either free bleed or I use period panties or cloth pads. And I know sometimes those aren't as accessible. They're a little more pricey. However, free bleeding is free. <laughs> you can make your own. You can buy them off Etsy. They're really not that bad and they're reusable. So they're more sustainable. And the companies that produce these uh, tampons and pads, they don't have to disclose to their buyers the ingredients they use while making them. Our vaginas are the most absorbent part of our body. So we don't know what our vagina and the rest of our body is absorbing. And I think that's really scary. The impact on women's health is something we don't even fully understand. There's ways to track your cycles naturally, but no one's telling these young girls that, so they're just getting on this birth control and damaging their fertility. And that's part of why we're seeing this really, really big decline in fertility and why we're seeing this kind of infertility epidemic that's been happening. 15 years ago, or even five years ago, you really had to kind of hide that part of you when you shouldn't have to. It's, it's not a bad thing, it's a beautiful thing. If you wanna learn more about birth work, fertility awareness, natural family planning, you can find me on mountaintimemw.com or on Instagram at Welsh and Womb.